Hey, welcome back students. In this lesson we want to go ahead and focus on how to calculate molar concentrations. And so what we've got here is a sample problem that's already been created for us. The problem reads as follows. How many moles of sulfuric acid are present in 0 0.500 liters of a 0 0.150 molar solution of sulfuric acid? Well, right off the bat, the one thing that you do need to know how to do is figure out what the formula for sulfuric acid. So this is kind of a little bit of a review for you. So if you know that the name is sulfuric acid, you know that this is going to begin with an... Uh, the word acid tells you that this begins with an H. And sulfuric, so you notice here sulfuric is actually going to be the uh, a uh, suffix part for sulfate. And so the sulfate here is going to be the SO4. And we know that uh, SO4 has a minus 2 charge, so that means we're going to need 2 of these hydrogens. So the formula for here for sulfuric acid is H2SO4. And so in order for us to solve this particular problem, we need to kind of remember that concentration is expressed in moles per liter. And so the concentration formula is the following. So we're going to have a concentration that we're going to have here. The molar concentration is equal to the number of moles divided by a certain volume that's going to be in liters. Okay, So this is the generic formula we're going to use and so we're just going to go ahead and identify all the parts in our equations up top in the problem and help us identify what it is we're looking for. So what we've got here is the following. We know that molar is going to be identified right here in this section here. So here's your molar concentration. Let me go ahead and change that to yellow so we can see it better. So we've got a yellow concentration here We've got a volume here, so here's your V. This part over here is your concentration. And what they want us to figure out is how many moles. That's what we're looking for, which is our N, or our mole section. So all we're going to do is kind of play, put these into the equation, and we can figure out the variable that we don't know. So since we know the molar concentration, the molar concentration here is going to be 0 0.0150 molar. And this is going to be equal to the number of moles, which we're going to solve for N, divided by the volume in liters, which is 0 0.500 liters. Since we want N by itself, what we need to do at this point is we need to go ahead and multiply by the volume. So it's going to be 0 0.500 liters. That's going to cause us to cancel, leaving the N by itself. And when we do that to that side, we also need to do the same to the other. So we'll put 0.500 liters on the right hand side and that essentially gives us the answer. So let me go ahead and rewrite this. Essentially what we've got here is going to be 0 0.500 liters times 0 0.0150 molar. Okay, so molar means that we've actually got moles per liter. Since this is liters, what's going to happen here is the number of moles is what we're going to get. That's the x value. Notice here what's going to happen is the liters cancel those units and what we're left with is the units and moles that we're looking for. And when we do this multiplication out, if we take 0 0.500 and we multiply that by 0 0.0150, our answer is the following. And so we wind up getting the following. The number of moles that we're looking for here, moles is equal to 0 0.0750 moles. So essentially this is the answer we're looking for for this particular problem. So how many moles of sulfuric acid are present in 0 0.500 liters of 0 0.150 molar? 0 0.075 moles. 